from Academic City University College in the person of Era Makligo. So who are you and what do you do here in Academic City? Artificial intelligence, you know, we are in a data-driven world now. Okay. In every industry, from biochemical and finance, from um, we have the manufacturing industry, the oil and gas industry, and even the energy sector and the medical sector as well. There was data being produced each and every day. Now the question is, what do we do of that data? Okay. That is where artificial intelligence comes in. Now artificial yeah. intelligence simply is giving machines or models to behave or think like human beings. So with the data that we produce, artificial intelligence um, engineers or machine learning engineers are able to create models that run on these models to find patterns in the data so that we can make informed decisions in management. Yeah. Okay. So what do you mean by models? They run on models. Can you throw more light on that? So models are, well, um, in artificial intelligence, you use some programming language. Okay. The most popular one now is Python but also other programming language like um, Java can be used. So it's more of coding. You are building it. So you can say it's more or less like a software. Now these softwares, after being built, then have to rely on the data. So we, in the technical world, we say we train, we train the model using the data. So when we, we train it with the, the, the data for it to make sense, so that next time when you are producing more data in real time, is able to get the patterns for you to make decisions. Current patterns, that means there'll be a shortfall in the program that has been built. Finance Institute, and I get their history, that's the past data, and feed it into my system. We'll be, first of all, we have to label the data. So for transactions that are legal and transactions that are not legal. So when we train the model, the model now knows because we've labeled our data for transactions that are legal and that which are not legal. So that subsequent transactions which would generate more data this transaction is legal or this transaction is illegal so that is what i mean by finding the patterns or the trend okay yeah. okay i get you all right so um there's a school of thoughts out there and then there's um, a fear for the human resource now that robots are taking over our niches and the space that we occupy and the roles we play yeah. be it in the um, let's say in different offices in different workplaces and even in the hospitals yeah. so what's your take on that um it's no news that uh, even recently in the tech industry we've seen a lot of uh, layoffs from some of the big tech companies uh, like uh, google apple yeah so twitter right yeah, Twitter too suffered some, some, some losses, some job cuts. The truth of the matter is um, AI, like I said earlier, it's, it's here to help us find trends. So sure. it takes away the laborious tasks of human, of human trying to understand data, trying to find the pattern in data. So yes, some jobs may be lost, but then also I came across a tweet some time ago okay. and a software engineer, he was like, um those who rely on ai are the ones who are going to actually replace you not the ai itself so for example we have chat gpt now which is making waves exactly. people are all about chat exactly GPT and chat, all those kind of things so that's another example of ai okay. what he's trying to say is now software engineers who rely on chat chat gpt and together with their skill base are the ones going to replace you not chat gpt itself so it's just like another tool you know so centuries back the sectors were not how they were we've been revolutionized okay. yeah the respective um, industries so the automotive industry had cuts now we have vehicles cars trucks and even that cars and trucks we are moving from gasoline powered cars and trucks to electric okay. yeah and from other industries too we are involving so in the tech industry or the new era there's a new product out artificial intelligence which we want to integrate to all industries so that the people that are there would have a step up okay. in using these tools so the the, the the question now is like what you said yes it's true if you are not using these tools there's a likelihood that the person who does use it would be will have a, a step ahead of you 
So AI shouldn't scare everyone. What I will entreat people to do is try and understand AI. It's here to stay. So try and understand, try and learn. I'll even entreat that other institutions, even if you don't want to make it a full curriculum, at least some courses should be in there to teach people about AI, the good and the bad side of AI. Yeah. So here I'm saying that we shouldn't fear. We are only being empowered. If yeah, I got you right, exactly. Yeah. We are being empowered and enabled to take up the right places and the right, I mean, networks or right platforms to use to make our work better. Is that the case? Yeah, that's it. All right. But you just said AI has some bad side. What's the yeah. bad side of AI? Of course, um, uh, when you're building something, you have to apply. You have to apply ethics, right? You 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 should have a clear motive why you are building what you want to build. It doesn't really apply to AI or other thoughts. Even those who are scientists who produce and um, product vaccines and all that, there could be a good and a bad side. The bad side being if someone wants to do something but he can manipulate what he builds and it can cause harm to other people. So we are trying to mitigate that by putting in place rules, ethics that you should, you should be bounded by as software engineers or as AI engineers. For you to follow so that when you follow you build something that is safe and that is uh, useful to the environment as well so the question will be this do you have a regulatory let's say body on ai or software or something like okay that? Uh, for ghana i don't know even for the world i don't know but i i believe um now that it's coming bodies are trying to uh, even governmental bodies are trying to also they ask these questions what's the good side and the bad side so i believe um so if they see the good outweighs the bad they will be able to establish a body that will regulate all these things and make sure that we are on the right path and doing the right thing to save not destroy the environment or the community yeah so, so from what you're saying you're saying ai is not a new form of colonization is that what you're saying? <laughs> it's not no it's not it's a tool to help us really? yes <laughs> okay. yeah so what are the prospects of doing ai okay so with ai anyone who learns ai you could work in the cyber security field you could work in almost any industry even in the medical field you could work there the banking and finance sector too is open for people who do ai and machine learning as well as um, transport the transportation field too actually it's it's, it's a vast uh, it's a very large field where you can apply your skill to almost in every industry out there yeah. What are your concluding words? My concluding words are technology is here to stay. It's advancing and we should do well to catch up with technology. Right. Yeah. Technology is here to stay. We should do well to catch up with technology. This is how we end up today's session with AI, ARAM, right? Yeah. Nice to meet you, bro. Nice meeting you too. Science yeah. Digest show, you wrap up always saying, yeah, yam no fico fico. So you do that for us. Yeah, yeah, yam no fico 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 fico. See you. <laughs> Bye. This is the Science Digest show. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share their content, and also push them on post notification. Science Digest Show, the mystifying science.